So bon Peggy, everybody. My name is Payne, and this is the channel where I review anime shows and movies of years past and present. And in this video, I'll be talking about one of the three shows that I picked in the last video that I don't know if anyone saw, but if one thing is for certain, I am not putting it in the description this time. And because of that, I, I just picked the show that I wanted to review out of those three. I think it was obvious because of my reaction in the last video. For people who don't know, the three shows were Girls Last Tour, Magi the Labyrinth of Magic, and this third show right here. So, let's get straight into this one. This is the one, the only, Nichijo. Nichijo, also known as Nichijo My Ordinary Life, is a comedy slash slice of life anime that is directed by Tatsuya Ishihara, the same guy who directed The Melancholy of God and God the Movie, also known as The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya and The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. It was written by Juki Hanada. It was made by Kyoto Animation. It came out in the spring of 2011 and has 26 episodes. The show started off as a manga written by Keiichi Arawi that made 10 volumes from 2006 to 2015 and it was a combination between the typical comic strips and a four panel manga and like the anime follows two different storylines that eventually intertwine when in, during the anime at the halfway point at around episode 13. The first storyline follows three childhood friends as they try to survive their ordinary life. There is Yuko, who, the one character who happens to be in the middle of most of the madness thanks to being a little lightheaded but easygoing. Mio, who has a short temper and often has to deal with Yuko's bullshit. And Mai, who is either the quiet one in the group or the instigator in this case, as she sometimes pulls pranks on Yuko, Mai, and her other classmates at the school. There is also a number of supporting characters and small storylines in the teachers at the school they go to, which includes a male teacher having a crush on a female teacher, and the vice principal of the school being so pissed because he was demoted from being principal for some reason that he became an alcoholic and started making death threats to the current principal while hammered, destroying his body in the process because he drinks so much. The antics at the school get crazier when the other main storyline is introduced, with a girl known only as the Professor and Nano, a robot created by the eight-year-old scientist prodigy with a large wind-up key on her back and the intent to be her servants. They later get a cat named Sakamoto who can later talk after the Professor puts one of her inventions on the cat, in this case a red scarf, who is always tortured because of the professor's bullshit. The story intertwines when Nano sees the three schoolgirls walking by their house and, just like Pinocchio, then tells the professor that she wants to become a normal girl and goes to school, to where she does and eventually meets the three girls and hangs out with them for the remainder of the series, giving it the impression that instead of the story being just around the six characters, the story was around Nano wanting to be just like everyone else and live a normal, ordinary life. There's also a couple of scenes of an alternative universe, I guess, called Helvetica Standard, which, when you combine the music and the animation, looks like the greatest Hellspawn I've ever seen. Shortly after the show came out, due to the huge popularity that the show had garnished, it also had a huge following on YouTube, not only getting the treatment of being the topic of many Nichijo funny moment videos, but it's also the topic of many AMVs, or anime music videos that would either be submitted into conventions or just post it onto YouTube for the many fans that this show has. Now, keep in mind, there is a lot of Nichijou AMVs out there. My favorites include ones with the safety dance, uh, there's one that is played with Hard Knock Life from Annie, and that one song from My Chemical Romance that is both a headache to sing and say the title to, and for anyone who's ever listened to My Chemical Romance, you know which song I'm talking about. Uh, those videos are in the description if anyone wants to see them. I know I want to. They're definitely videos that I watch when I have nothing to do. They're just that fun to watch. But now this is the point where we talk about the show itself. The animation overall is up there for one of the best in an anime I've ever seen. One, because it's Kyoto Animation. They're experts at this shit. And two, they get double points from me because of all the effort they put on a freaking slice of life show. The way that it was animated makes it so fluid with an art style and color palette that's very reminiscent of Lucky Star, another KyoAni show, but regardless of what it's compared to, it's very clear that in this instance, the creativity of both Ishihara and KyoAni really shows in this in the animation, considering that most of the episodes consist of multiple short stories. As it adds to the limitless amount of entertainment value that the show brings as each episode is structured differently. Uh, it varies with each 23 minute episode, but what makes it 
work and prevents it from going over the top is the high levels of unpredictability and how they balance it. With every episode, you don't know what's going to happen. And even if you did see any of the Joe funny moment videos, you can't pinpoint which episode that funny moment will show up on. Unless in that video, it says it in the description. But how they balance it is that each episode will show a fair amount of batshit insane moments with the important and memorable moments that continue the story. As for the insane moments in this show, for as batshit as they are, what makes them work is how simplistic they are. Part of the joke is the title of the show, which again is translated to English as My Ordinary Life, as most of the jokes are mainly just over-exaggerated versions of simple scenarios that we often face every day, sometimes relying on clever timing or dialogue, which often leads to the kind of widespread appeal that you would see from other slice of life shows, especially from KyoAni during this time like Lucky Star or k -On. The soundtrack is fun to listen to because of how jumpy it sounds, and I don't know if anyone noticed this, but in a past video, I honestly forgot which one, I used a song from the soundtrack because I went off on like a couple tangents in that video, and looking back at it, I don't regret it. As for the openings and endings, it not only adds to the already amazing soundtrack, but also to the stellar animation as the opening and ending scenes just scream out creativity, both in what you're seeing and what you're hearing. The characters in this show, as varied by personality as they are, are way better when they interact with each other, especially when it comes to when the storylines were separated at the first half of the series, the situations that they either get themselves in or they get one another in, in addition to one of the very few times where I heard the voice actors genuinely sound like they're having fun with their roles, makes for the perfect combination of surreal humor in a slice of life anime. But just like every other slice of life anime that came out during this time period, late 2000s, early 2010s, the part that really sticks with me is that with a very high production budget and memorable comedy sketches is that they followed the less is more approach where it only presented itself as a show whose goal was to be entertaining and while it approached it in a different way as let's say Lucky Star where they relied on references towards a specific audience and Moe characters and eventually ended in large merchandise sales, instead in Nichijo there is no protagonist, there is no merchandise sales, there is no antagonist, no subplots, no development in any way, and no morals. Instead, we got a great show that you can just shut your brain off and just get consumed by the mindless craziness that is Nichijo. This show is perfect for anybody. And for that, I'm going to give Nichijo my ordinary life. A 10 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching my Nichi Joe review video. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more anime review videos in the near future, hit the subscribe button either on the screen or down in the description. And if you want to see any anime review videos that I made in the past, there are going to be some on the screen, down in the description, and down on my channel. And with that, my name is Payne. I'll see you in the next video.